Have you ever encountered SQL Server being rolled out and used as primarily an enterprise-ready XML document database? Have I encountered it? Yes. Is it like using a gold-plated toilet? Also, yes. There are a lot of companies out there with more money than sense, and they will do crazy things like use really expensive relational databases as uh, XML filing cabinets just because that really expensive relational database, they have a team that's comfortable managing it, they have good licensing deals with Microsoft, it's on a standards list somewhere that somebody put out, uh, but is it a good idea? Absolutely not. Milos continues, are there any cautions or precautions for such a use case? No, just don't do it. Just, you don't do that. If you want to do something stupid and expensive, like use a gold-plated toilet, you by all means you can do that, but you won't find any best practices on. Here are the best ways to put in a gold-plated toilet and keep it clean, because people shouldn't just be doing that. And by the time that they start to do that, they don't really give a damn about best practices. They're already doing something really stupid anyway, so... Why would we bother writing best practices when they're going to keep doing something really dumb?